really need to know. Okay. Uh, it can allow me a minute in from KZN Eshowe. Uh, I go by the name of Slow J Shigo. Slow J Shigo is a vocalist, musician. Uh, right now, I kind of like form my own sound, so I can't really classify it any uh, with any genre that is existing because it's something that is just different. What makes me Slow J Shigo? from other artists. Dope. Uh, in one word, brother, please describe yourself. Just one word that could potentially sum up all that you are, all your beliefs, all your aspirations, your past too. In one word, what would it be? Creative. Okay, please elaborate. Okay, uh, creative is like, uh, from the way I look, from the way I dress, everything to me is like uh, creativity. So it's like, I don't just do things because I see other people doing them, but with everything, it comes from my own mindset. So that's that's what makes it creative from other people, if I may say, or from other other perspectives. Because I do things with my own perspective. So at all times, I wouldn't like go for something that is out there, but I'll always like to figure out things for myself you know dope yeah makes perfect sense so i'm guessing now with that in mind uh that's what sparked up now you uh, venturing into music and everything because now creativity is such a vast um industry like you can literally be a poet you can literally be an artist that draws so now with you why music out of all other arts that are there okay uh, I guess I guess with the music I all I always knew like that it was the music I always knew it was the music because even before I could like go to a studio when I was still a kid you know uh, I would like form my own like my own songs it would be like I would always have like this calling of different sounds you know like but it all came from freestyles and I, I didn't understand it at that point but it was just you know it was just so new it was it was different even when I tried to like recite other people's songs the way it sounded with me trying to do it was actually different from what they were doing so that's why I decided to say you know what let me just try this out and see if I can make something out from the core, you know? Beautiful. Girls. Just girls, bruh. Just girls. I like that. I like that um, from day one, as you're explaining that you started, I'm guessing, high school, nah? Nah, it was way before that. It was way before high school. Alright. Way, way before high school. I think I was nine years old. We entered, um, we entered uh, a session at church. It was youth. Okay. You know, like seven o'clock till nine o'clock youth sessions. Yeah, so I was there. I was actually there by mistake because I was still young to actually attend. So what had happened was uh, nobody wanted to start a song. I just went upstage and then I started singing. But it was like, uh, you know, 
a, a created, made up freestyle song, but it was a gospel song. So from there, like, I was approached by this gang in my hood. Yeah, they, they were called SD Squad. They like, hey, we need to get you on a chorus or something. Dope. So at the age of nine, I was at the studio for the first time. Oh, beautiful. So isn't it interesting how uh, you were not even supposed to be there, yet you're the one that participated the most, seeing that you started the whole movement. And uh, it goes back to the whole concept of everything happening for a reason, right? So basically, maybe if it wasn't for that day, uh, you wouldn't have even tapped in to that level of creativity, I'm guessing. Um, we can't really say much about that because nobody knows what would have happened so i guess we'll never know yes but one thing that i'm grateful for is that i actually got that opportunity you know at a young age you know to like formulate something and grow from there you know uh, beautiful and i can attest to that because uh, i was there from your learning stages till now and i have to say i'm proud of the artist that you've become you have eventually found yourself and I'm guessing it's through your journey, everything you've been through, the ups and downs. Do you think uh, it plays a role on the concept of your current album now? It does. Yes. Uh, the growth in music and for the fact that I'm doing a sound that is not really there yet. So I'm kind of like creating a trend. I'm kind of like creating a, a legacy for for future artists you know yeah yeah uh, it, it does because i can tell you that uh, everything that i'm doing today besides just the music is influenced by the steps i had to take in life beautiful because in order for me to be here i had to meet like some beautiful souls who were already experienced in some parts i was learning so in order for me to like grow i had to like grasp from that you know and beautiful make it of my own beautiful so in a in a nutshell if you could briefly explain tell us the title of your album that you're about to drop and just explain the concept to the people of what it's about in a nutshell just briefly explain uh, in the most simplest form I can put I can send out things that once you will never really be able to move in a strategic way if you do not realize that life is just a game in reality wow. so in order for you to get to the next step you have to go through a certain step all for a reason all for a reason and you know once you if you are not able to to pass that stage you just keep repeating the same stage a little bit more until you 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 are able to like beat your fears and you are able to get through that in order for you to reveal the next stage to life Dope. so my album is game in real life status because i wanted people to understand that as much as you are a person and as much as you do fully understand who you are or you're trying to understand who you are but you must know that everything goes with a step in order for you to get to oh, where dope. you want to be or where you belong so basically that concept is an acronym Exactly. For girls. For girls. Please say it one last time. It's girls game in real life status. That is dope. If you really want to be the best, you just need to commit to one thing and just perfect that one thing. Cause, you know, I feel like the thing that I hate the most in this life is when, you know, I'm like pressed down and I don't know what's the next move. I don't know how to go. I don't know what to do. I just 
I just feel like I'm out of options. And then I ask myself, what's the point of leaving? Is it just to survive? There gotta be something, there gotta be a drive, there gotta be at least a little bit of success. So I know I'm doing something. I can tell I'm doing something. You know, everybody got a story to tell. Everybody been through something. But what are you doing about the chance that you have? Are you changing somebody's life? Are you bringing any impact to somebody's life? It's a game in real life status. My album is a game in real life status. It's just about how you go through every day, what we need to get challenged in, and how you take control of it. Sometimes you just have to control your demons. I'm sorry. That is dope. So now, what inspired you to choose that uh, acronym specifically? Like when you break down your whole album. When I break, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist who who's fully invested in emotions. So every like every piece of work, every body of work that I pull out there, it's mostly about emotions. You know, like how I feel about life, how I feel about my peers, how I feel about the people around me. So oh. I just wanted to create a body of work that admired, you know, the females and everything based on what I had to go through. And in terms of relationships and everything, I feel like in my past life, I kind of like disappointed a whole lot of people that were actually, you know, fully invested in me emotionally and stuff like that. So I just wanted to send out the, the message to, to the females mostly, that even if I did like break your heart, even if uh, it did not end well between us, but if you are out there and you are listening to this album, you can be a better person just by the message that I'm trying to send out. Say it bro, say it bro. I, I love I love how actually deep that is because um, if you would see just the title girls and see that it's actually acronyms and understanding your definition of how you've put it. I think it's so beautiful because metaphorically the relationship we have with girls, well rather how relationships should be is actually how we should be tackling life. So uh, in a nutshell, your, your concept is so deep and so accurate figuratively, metaphorically. Me realizing that being a woman was hard was when I grew up. When I started noticing how much women have been victimized, there is no secret in it that women have been targets of rape, non severe abuses, condign pressure on how or not to dress. Told that it's how they dress that makes them rape victims. And I say, if men can rape a three year old, then clearly the problem is not how women dress. In this brutal planet, being a woman means to live in fear. But I say no. Being female means to be strong, bold, capable, and vulnerable. Now it's time to take a stand. The question isn't who is going to let me. It's who that is going to stop me. A strong woman is one who feels deeply and laughs fiercely. Her tears flow as abundantly as her laughter. Yours truly, Lamin Lele. Thank you. I feel precious. I feel like a flower. I feel like uh, a queen. I feel like everything. Well, yeah. I am a woman. I am a star. I am a queen. I am a nation. Uh, yeah. I am the one who gives back to the world, so yeah, that's how I feel about being women. Going back to, I, because I understand basically that concept is your your past, your present, exactly. and your future. So I'm going to ask you a very tricky yet very relevant question. Eh? Uh, of which some people get it wrong most times, or well, they think they get it right, but they get it wrong. So in your own words, please define success 
success in my own work, my own words. Yes, your definition of success, basically. Okay, my definition of success is you putting your effort into doing one thing and being consistent to okay. doing one thing. So basically my definition of success because at the end of the day I don't believe in failure. It's either you take lessons or you achieve something. Trials and tribulations. Exactly. Okay. So my definition of success would be that if one has a vision and one works according to their vision and they just consistent to what they want it doesn't matter what life can bring but as long as you 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 like you ventured for what you wanted Thanks. there's that movie by 50 cent they said it's either get rich or die trying so my definition of success it's either you push until you get it or you die while trying to get it beautiful applause to that because uh as i said a lot of people tend to get this answer wrong the typical person would say success to me would having that ferrari or having a nice uh house in the mansion you know but basically i just love that well if i could define success to you uh, for me, it is uh, doing what you love, number one, and peace and happiness. True. That is the definition of success to me. And um, I love that you are so self-aware with the fact that through this uh, project, you're basically explaining that, uh, what, what your definition of success is. True. To, to summarize basically the whole concept, as I said, it's your past, present, and your future. That is beautiful, brother. What should people anticipate on the project that you're about to drop? Like uh, any hints or any thing that you want to tell us before we start listening to these bangers. They bangers, by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying uh, it is bangers indeed. I just hope that people really listen to learn and people really listen to grow more than they just listen because it's bangers you know because there's a whole lot of message i'm trying to send out there say it, everything is true to myself and everything is true to every person who relates to it you know i i put my heart and soul in this so i just want everybody to know that with with whatever message i'm trying to put out there it's exactly how I was feeling at those moments, you know. I hear you. Because that's the whole point of music. We must relate. True. So, what's, what, why, what are we listening to if it's not something that talks to the soul? True. Uh, nonetheless, thank you so much, brother. All the best of luck with your projects. I know it's going to do the most. Uh, may the God, may the good Lord be with you and bless you in your journey. Thank you so much. I received my brother. I guess one thing I hate the most in life is being in the dark, you know, like not knowing what to do next, not knowing where to go, how to go, you know, having no direction. I think, I think we can make it better than this. Okay, I'm telling you, you're not losing yourself. They said, misusing yourself. They, they, they just can't understand you more than simple as 